Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to change the brake pots and this on this Mitsubishi Lancer 8. We bought the Ferodo brake discs and pads because they were cheaper than, than the Brembo or Ate. So let me just move the car a bit forward so I can work inside. But first I need to make some space for it. So be back in a bit. Also let me grab the wheel locking nut first. Which is here somewhere I guess, yeah. I got it. So I'm gonna use the floor jack, not the quick jack, because it has a center jacking point, quite approachable. And then I'm gonna use only two jack stands to support the car. <coughs> so let's lift it. So I'm just gonna put the jack stand underneath. Just like that. On the other side as well. And now we can lower the car on them. So I just remove the wheel real quick. So now first I'm gonna remove the brake caliper. It is held by two 40mm bolts. So I'm gonna use the 40mm hex socket on it. Here's the second one is on the bottom. So now I can remove the caliper and with the help of a hook, I'm gonna hook it under the coil spring, just like that. And now I'm gonna remove the caliper holding bracket. It is held by two bolts as well. Let me check if what size it is. It is a 17 millimeter hex bolt. So I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter hex socket. Now the bottom one. And now I remove the caliper with the brake pads in it. And lastly we remove the brake disc. We were lucky this time as it because it just it comes off only by hand. So and that's it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. throw back the new parts and put everything back together. And that's then I'm gonna do the other side as well. And the job is done. So the caliper holding bracket is off of the car. Now I'm gonna rebuild it. I'm gonna new, use a new brake pad guides. I'm gonna change these rubbers as well. And also the bolts. I'm gonna use new new bolts. Here is the kit. And I'm gonna put new grease on it as well. So let's do it. So first I remove the old brake pads. So let's remove the brake pad guides and then clean the caliper holding bracket. I use a wire brush and I clean it as much as I can. So let me remove the rubber dust boots or dust covers. Just pull on them. So let's use the grease from the rebuild kit, put some into the holes and then on the bolts as well. Just like that, other side as well. That's enough. 
Now we can put the new rubber boots back. And this is the bottom side, this is the top. And you just play it inside. Let's do the other one as well. Perfect. And lastly, put back the new bed guides. Make sure it's all the way in and then you are good to go. Let's do the other one as well. And this is it. So let's clean the wheel hub from the rust as well. I'm using a drill and a wire brush. Put the new rotor back in and then put the brake caliper holding bracket in its place. Securing with the two 15 millimeter bolts, sorry, 17 millimeter bolts. So the top is done, now the bottom one. Now it's time to put back the brake pads, but first I don't really, I want to tell you that I don't really like this kind of brake pads so it's loose, it's not secured with a bolt or a screw here, that's why it's loose and it's more difficult to put it, put everything back together when you're doing the brake job. Do the rear one as well. So before you wind back the brake caliper, open the brake reservoir cap. So this way you can push back the brake piston easier and you don't have pressure in the system. So with this ratcheting tool, push back the brake piston all the way. So I feel resistance. Now I reverse the ratchet and remove the tool. It's done. Now I just slide the brake caliper over the brake pads. And secure it with the two bolts. So this is the bottom bolt. First put some grease on it. And now the rubber. Just like that. Now you can grease the bolt, spread it evenly. Now on the top bolt as well, put the remaining grease which you still have, spread it evenly as well. Put the top pin back in its place. Now tighten the bolts. And lastly put back the wheel 